I'd like to call into question the relationship between this ordinance like 104020 and my situation because the way the the definition is is set up the the biggest question is is a location I was at and how they're defining it all right you said you can't fix any car unless if it's for an emergency on the street and then they define what the street is and it's it's got a theme to it okay the whole ordinance has a theme in that it's it's targeting car dealers and anything related to the whole car dealer realm business the whole car dealer business buying selling fixing up probably detailing advertising all of that it's they're, they're, the theme is 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 really targeting the uh, the generation of activity on the side of the street that draws attention to itself, poss and, and and it draws people to it, okay, which would draw a crowd to the side of the street, which is not safe, okay, and and uh, I'm, I'm thinking the city council may have have found that to be. A big problem you don't want to draw crowds of people to the side of the street for commercial purposes or and and privates just anything that's gonna draw people have people force car anything that's gonna force cars to have to drive around you while you're while you're there conducting your business okay so that sounds like the theme but that's not how the the enforcement is going and, and you, I look a little deeper into it with the definition of street, okay? I didn't, I didn't notice it at first. This isn't something common people read. Not, not many people read or, city ordinances, and the city manager had to point out that there's a definition for street. And I should have figured, but there's the ordinance section, and then there's the definitions section. And you got to be careful because uh, some of the words that are in the ordinance might have their own definition made up by the lawmakers. You know, not every word is is just uh, something you look up in the dictionary. The or, the lawmakers actually decide to define the words for themselves for their own purposes. Okay, and and it's something you have to be aware of. All right. Just an ordinary word like street. You wouldn't expect it to have the ordinance definition of it. You just expect it to be a street. But that's not the case. So you look in the definition section, there's street, and they're saying a theme again, which which seems to be on the side of the road, anything that has to do with going from point A to point B, traveling, and all of that, bridges and, and uh, dams and... Um, just like roadways it's through through ways okay and then it has at the end other structures and that's where they're trying to get me is calling a parking lot another structure but it doesn't really fit in the theme it's like you watch those those sesame street shows where they're like they have that song one of these kids is not like the other and it doesn't it doesn't fit in in the in the whole in the definition and the theme of the definition using it, the the parking lot as part of the structure cuz why wouldn't they just say parking lot why would they say other structures why would why would they not add parking lot did it slip their mind i think that's unlikely these are lawmakers it's not just one person writing it it's it's several of them and parking lot is probably used in the ordinance somewhere else. And maybe parking lot has its own definition. All right. But then if it does, um, you know, it's something I actually have to research a little bit closer. But I'm just questioning why parking lot is not also added in. It, and it's, it seems like it's probably not a part of the theme of what they're going for. But the cops figure 
that's that's good enough. Anything that has pavement on it is good enough. And cops, uh, in my personal history, have, have had problems defining the law.